Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Pika and I'm going to be with you in this lesson. But before we begin this lesson, let's say our poem together. Hello, hello, how are you? It's time to learn on cue. Something old, something new, let's learn a thing or two. So, today we're going to learn about rights and responsibilities. Remember that in South Africa we celebrate Human Rights Day. Human Rights Day is when we celebrate the rights that we have. But something that lots of people don't talk about is the responsibility that comes with these rights. Today we are going to learn about that. Children have the right to be protected from conflict, cruelty, exploitation and neglect. But they also have the responsibility not to bully or harm each other. Children have the right to a clean environment at home, at school and wherever they are. They also have the responsibility to do what they can to look after their environment and to keep it clean. Children have the right to be educated and the responsibility to learn as much as they can and to help others to learn. Children have the right to freedom of thought and religion and the responsibility to respect others, other people's thoughts and religions. Now, this is important because these four rights are four rights that all children have, but these responsibilities are more important. You can say that you have the right to a peaceful environment but you can't go around bullying people and making them feel sad because you are taking away their right of a peaceful environment now you also have the right to a clean environment but you have the responsibility to keep it clean this means that you need to clean up after yourself and not litter or pollute our environment children have the right to be educated what does this mean? This means that you have the right to education. But this also means that your responsibility is to learn hard, to pay attention and to help others learn. We have the right to our own thoughts and our own religion. But we also have the responsibility to respect the thoughts and religions of others. We may not come from the same religions and we may not share the same thoughts. So you can very easily say, I think what I think and you think what you think. I respect your thoughts and I would like for you to respect mine. The same goes for religion. South Africa is a diverse country where we have many religions and this is why we are called the Rainbow Nation because of our diversity, which means that not everyone shares the exact same religion as you do. We should respect others' religions and we should be respected by others. Until next time, goodbye.